Hi, I am going to show you how you can access your Clever account and Google Classroom in this video. So I just sent out a post on how to do that and links and everything. So what you need to do, if you ever get lost, go back to the post, find the post that says how to log, to, how to log on to Clever and Google Classroom. And first thing you need really new is log into Clever. Now, before you log into Clever, make sure that first your pop-ups are not blocked. So what you want to do is go to the top right. You'll see a little box with another little red box. Click that. And as you can see, if it is on, every time you click a link, let's just try. Click a link. It's not going to open. Click this link, not going to open. That's because your pop up blocker is on. So, what you want to do is click here and allow pop ups. Click there, click done. The next thing you need to do, and this is very, very important, make sure that you are not already logged into a Google account. You can check by going at the top of your browser, looking at the top right, you'll see where it says current user. Click here, and if it says you're not signed in, then you're good to go. But if you are signed in, you see your picture, a logo, whatever, and it has an email address, you need to sign out. Also, make sure that you are not synced. It says turn on sync. I don't want to turn on sync. Leave it just like that. So if you're not signed in and your pop-up blocker is off you're allowing pop-ups then you're good to go so the next step we need to do is click the first link we're going to log into clever so as in an early video i showed you how to log into clever you'll see this, this is hisd's home page go here scroll down look on the left side there's a hyperlink that says digital resources so click here You'll come to this screen. This is where you log into Clever. Now, some of you ask you about your badge. If you did not get a badge or if you don't have a camera on your computer, do not use this option. Do not click here. What you need to do is click here. Log in with Active Directory. And you should come to this screen. This is where you really need to pay attention because you make a simple mistake and you can't log in. So I'm going to use one of my students to log in. And this first box is where you put your username. So make sure you type, make sure you type student, all lowercase, spelled S T U D E N T. Now you need to include a backslash. There's two types of slashes on your keyboard. There's one that goes forward that looks like this. That's not the one we want to use. And there should be another one that looks like this. That is a backslash. Make sure you use that one. Then you need to put in S, then the student ID number. So I'm going to use one of my kids' student ID numbers 186019. Now everybody's going to have their student ID number different. It's not going to be this exact ID number. What is going to be unique is your birthday. Remember, it is a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 digits. It has to be 8 digits. It doesn't matter when you were born, what day, what month, what year, 8 digits. So I'm going to type in the first two digits, which is a month. The next two digits, which is the day you were born, say you were born on the first, then your digits would be zero, one. And then the four digit year. Click sign in. When you see this green and that pops up, you'll get a pop up asking if you want to save this. I'm not going to save this. But you should see your name at the top right 
of the screen. If you see your name, you are logged into Clever and you have access to all the HISD's resources. For this case, we're only going to use the ones assigned by our teachers. Now, once you get logged into Clever, you're trying to figure out how do I get into Google Classroom? Well, if you go back to Class Dojo, look for the next link. It says Google Classroom. I want to click this link. It's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. Everyone has a unique email, so to say. So it's you do not want to, this is what you do not want to do. Do not log in using your personal Google account. You will not be able to get into the classroom that has been assigned to you. So make sure that you use your student ID number as a way to sign in. So this is what it looks like. You're going to use just like you would on a regular computer at school s your student id number again i'm using one of my kids as a as an example oops this number now you see i already typed this in earlier but i'm going to continue typing it so you see how it's done first put your student id number then you're going to put the aroba at and then it's online make sure everything is spelled correctly or it will not work online all lowercase o n l i n e dot make sure it's a dot and not a comma so i'm going to erase that that was a comma put a dot or period then it's houston h o U S T O N I S D. Make sure that's spelled correctly. Dot, not a comma. O R G. Then you're going to hit next. If you hit next, then it shows a red error. That's because you typed in something incorrectly. Click next. Then it's going to say verify it's you. You should see the exact same email we just typed in right here. If you see anything else, if you see another email, maybe your personal email or your mom or dad's email, it will not work. You will not be able to get into the classroom. But if you do see this, that means you are good to go. We're going to click continue. It's going, since this is this first time logging in, you'll come to this screen. So if this is not your first time logging into Google Classroom, it will go straight to the classroom. But since this is his first time, I've logged him in. I'm going to accept down at the bottom. And it'll say Google Classroom. It'll give the name of the student, student's unique email with their student ID number. I'm going to click continue. You want to select student since you are a student. Now, this is the part where you add the classroom code. The classroom code is in the instructions for logging into Google Classroom. I will include them in another post. So we want to click here at the top right where it says join your first class. Click here. And we're going to type in that code. So the code is 2, B as in boy, 4, Q as in quiz, D as in dog, Z as in zebra, D as in dog. And click join. you typed it in correctly you should come to this screen now you have successfully logged in to google classrooms when you see fourth grade classrooms now in the next video i'm going to show you how you're supposed to complete your assignments once you get to this page